Hi, this is Dan Fraser from Canonical, and this is a demo of a tool that we wrote to make it easy to get our recently released Ubuntu 16.04 beta up and running in seconds on your IBM Z Systems machine. All you need to start is a ZVM or KVM instance that's already running a Linux OS, and a spare disk to use as an install target. The tool is pretty self-contained, so any reasonably modern Linux OS you have should do. It just needs to have a functional Python interpreter. The tool is called Ubuntu S390X Flash. If you run it with the dash H option, you can see what parameters it takes. Only one argument is required, and that is the target disk that you plan to write Ubuntu out to. You can put that, you can specify that target device in either a slash dev file or as a bus ID. If I look at my local system, I can see that I have one disk currently online, but that's the root disk for the operating system I'm running now, and I don't want to blow that away. So I'm going to specify a different disk that I know is currently offline. Even though this disk is offline, this tool can go ahead and use it because it will do the onlining for me. The first screen will tell you what this tool is about to do, which is to write out the Ubuntu image to the spare drive we specified. But it's also going to configure the system to re-IPL from that device once I reboot. It'll ask me a couple configuration questions. The first is my user configuration. By default, this tool is configured to use the user Ubuntu with the password Ubuntu, but I can change this to something more secure. Okay. Next, it's going to ask me about my user my network configuration. Now, as you can see, the system already has given me some defaults for the network configuration. It chose to use defaults by scanning the existing system to see how it's configured. That way, once I re-IPL into the Ubuntu system, I can SSH back into the same IP, and I'm just now in the Ubuntu system instead of the host OS I was before. I like that, so I'm going to leave this alone. And it will give me one last question, which is a confirmation that I do want to destroy any data that may exist on the disk I specified as my target. And since that's the goal here, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So this will take a few seconds to write out the Ubuntu image to that target disk. That target disk will be configured to automatically grow the file system to the size of the partition it's been written to once I boot into it. It'll also use the cloud init tool and the configuration that is written to the disk image for cloud init to configure the system on first boot to have the user settings and network settings I just gave it. Okay, the tool is complete. As you can see, it has configured the system to re-IPL from the disk device I provided. So now once I reboot, it should boot off of that disk and boot into the Ubuntu 16.04 beta. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. In this tab over here, I have the console for the system, so we can watch the reboot process happen. As you can see here, it's generating new SSH host keys for the system, so we can expect those host keys to change. Now we're at a login prompt, so I'm going to go ahead and SSH back in using the same IP I did before. By the way, I just mentioned the SSH host keys have changed, so I can expect SSH to give me a, an error message here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cached SSH key 
signature from my known host file and now SSH should allow me to log into the new system. And I'm logging in with the same password I specified during configuration. Okay, now we've logged into the Ubuntu system. This is a fully functional Ubuntu system already configured to use the apt archives for the 1604 OS. Assuming you have mirror access, you can now just install any software from those repositories and evaluate it. This example, I'm just going to go ahead and install Docker. Docker is now installed. Once you're done with the evaluation, if you do wish to return to your previously installed Linux system, you can do that with a simple VIPL command. And that's it for this demo. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.